If your opinion of artificial insemination is been there, done that, you may want to give it another look. Well, there's uh, no question that I think uh, fixed timed AI has certainly got easier. And uh, so the, the first point is to certainly consider fixed timed artificial insemination, especially folks that have used AI in the past that have never tried fixed timed AI because they're a little afraid that seeing a cow in heat, they need to AI her at that time. New protocols and synchronization methods have eased the pressure on cattlemen. Fixed AI does not rely on heat detection. And what that does is uh, for the average producer who does not know how to artificially inseminate cows, what he can do is he can schedule somebody from an AI company uh, way in advance to be at his farm on a specific day at a specific time, and that uh, AI technician can AI the cows. Pregnancy rates vary by herd and environment. We've found that fixed time insemination has worked so well in heifers and cows uh, with the, the new uh, protocols that we've got where we can get lots of cattle pregnant on the first day of your breeding season. I mean, some people say, well, I'm not quite completely satisfied with 50 or 60 percent of my females pregnant, but we're talking about the first day of your breeding season, and that takes on a different uh, picture for you. Florida research shows that cows exposed to AI have a $49 advantage compared to those in natural service groups. And the main reason for that is it kick-started cows that were not cycling to become pregnant sooner. And by the end of the breeding season, we had more cows that became pregnant. AI-sired calves often have many advantages, too. The new technologies allow more of them to carry the genetics of bulls that have the total package. So it's just kind of a, uh, a stepping stone of uh, how the, the, the genetics are being utilized more and more and uh, being able to incorporate things like um, carcass traits to be able to be utilized so that we can harvest cattle with uh, um, outstanding carcass merit in order to be utilized uh, to, to enhance the eating quality uh, so that our producers and consumers uh, um, enjoy that benefit. I'm Cindy Campbell.